welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you for being a part of my YouTube family, for clicking on this video, and for giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit the like button as well as the leave a comment down below because all of those things do help my channel and I do appreciate so, so much the interactions that I get to have with you guys. I feel a little discombobulated because I'm out of my norm. We're starting here today at my coffee bar because I received a product in the mail the other day that I want to share with you guys. So Javi Coffee reached out to me to ask me about doing a product review of their product and I thought how fun would it be to do it with you guys. So I got the package, I have it open, but I wanna go ahead and go through it with you guys what came in it. So first, they sent this, and I believe there are metal straws in here, and it has their little logo on the little package, which this is great, because then I can leave it in the car. Let me open that here in just a second. And then also last in here is the coffee. And so, what this is, it's a coffee concentrate. And what you do is you just mix in one to two teaspoons of this micro dose and mix it with your favorite liquid for the perfect coffee. So suggest that you start with one teaspoon per six ounces of liquid and then you adjust the serving size to your liking. Do not drink straight from the bottle or consume the whole bottle in one serving. I cannot even imagine what that would be like. So it says storage instructions, you keep refrigerated after opening and use within six weeks. And so this is just the basic coffee concentrate, 100% Arabica artesian roasted. And it says that there's 30 servings in this one bottle. So that is what I received. It's still sealed. I have not tried it yet. And so I thought I was going to make a protein coffee today with my Premier Coffee because we are like late in the afternoon. It's almost 3 o'clock and I've been busy out running errands today. So why not have a little bit of my afternoon coffee here with you guys so in here let's see oh no they're i don't know what they are they are oh my gosh how cute okay so you get two gold straws and they got the little silicone on the top to drink out of you got the little bag that says javi the little brush cleaner and then two metal straws with a little silicone spot to drink out of. One is curved, one is straight. How cute! So I got all that um, from them. And this is, I didn't pay. <coughs> hey. Hey. Shh. Sorry, that was Ethel thinking she's tough. So I didn't pay for this. They did send it to me for me to give a review. And so I'm really, really excited to give it a try. So we're going to open it up. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it, but we're going to anyway. So like I said, I will make a Promere Protein. So this has 11 and a half ounces. It is the birthday cake flavor. And I did one of these with my Starbucks coffee where I did two shots of espresso over ice and then added this with two pumps of vanilla, sh sugar-free vanilla syrup, which I have some of that back here on my coffee bar. So I think that's what I'm gonna try. So you just sit back, relax. I'm gonna make this and then I will come back and let you know how I feel about it. me make my coffee I did most of this there's a little bit left probably to about here because that's all that would fit in this particular cup and then I did the two teaspoons of the Javi coffee because I like coffee and then I did give it a taste I thought it did meet the vanilla so I did two squirts of the sugar-free vanilla syrup that I have and it is so so good like 
So it's better than going to Starbucks because it's got more of the coffee taste than Starbucks gives you. And I mean, you get the whole thing. So I am for this. I recommend giving it a try. I will have it linked down below in the description box for you guys if you are interested in trying this Javi coffee. But oh my goodness, it's so, so good. Yep, highly recommend. All right, now let's get on to the rest of what I got going on today. Be right back. So real fast to finish out this product review, this Javi coffee, again, they sent it to me so that I could taste it for them and give a product review on my channel. And I just want to let you know that I do think it's really, really good. And I would be honest with you, I promise if I didn't like it. I am a coffee drinker. I love coffee. And I think that this is going to be amazing during the summer when I prefer iced coffee, because a lot of times I want to run out the door and I will brew a cup of coffee, pour it over ice, the ice will melt and you don't get the strong coffee that you're gonna get from a coffee concentrate. I've never had a coffee concentrate before that I can think of. So usually what I do is I brew the coffee and then I pour it over ice and add usually a protein drink. That's, that's how I drink my iced coffee a lot in the summer. You could also mix this with water and just add your favorite coffee creamer to it. That's what I was gonna do, but I really like this birthday cake premier protein and with the Starbucks, double shot so that's why I wanted to try it with this instead and I'll tell you it's so good I still have it here with me and it's just because it's not a watery coffee I think that you get so much more of the coffee taste out of it it's really good guys like it's really good so I am going to link it down below in the description box because like I said they send it to me to do a product review I have the option of um I don't know what it's called of continually sponsoring it so I'll get a kickback it's called something where I get paid if you guys order it through my link I don't think I have that set up right now I just really wanted to try it first and because I love coffee it just was right up my alley but I'll have the information for the product linked down below in case you're a big coffee drinker too and this is something that you want to try so I just wanted to get that out of the way finish my product review I do I do recommend if you love coffee like I do recommend so good so today for you I have a Dollar Tree haul yay I love Dollar Tree hauls I think I think almost everything there's a couple things I see but I think almost everything in here is for my Easter baskets that has been the topic of my channel for quite some time now. So um, I've been shopping. I need to get them finished. They're due by April 7th. And so that is next, the end of next week. And so that's why I've been trying to push to get them all done. I have a table. Everything's all laid out on it. So I need to finish up the ones that I'm almost done with. So then I can finish the ones that I haven't even started yet. So today I have a lot of Easter basket filler items. I do want to give you a precursor. So my next Dollar Tree haul should be, I found some of my big wish list items that aren't Easter, but some wish list items. I can't wait to share those with you, but I don't think they ended up over here. We'll both be excited if they did, but I think they're in the other pile of stuff. So let's get started. So these are not for the Easter baskets, but I picked up these bunnies. I have all four of them. So I picked up the blue, the yellow, the purple and the pink so they are so cute um mari from everything mari showed hers a while back and i try to tell myself i didn't need them and then every time i see them at the store i love them she pointed out they look like peeps and now i've talked many a times i don't like peeps i think that they are very gross sorry for those of you that love them but i think as peeps as decor are adorable like I think the little bunnies are so cute and these just really give that vibe and I think they're so cute so I'll probably just put them together and set them up somewhere and just really just have these be what they are as Easter decor and not really do anything with them 
in some of my Facebook groups, I'm like part of like Dollar Tree Cricut ideas. I've seen where they've cricketed names on the bellies or put on their faces and stuff. And I don't know if I think to do any of that. I really just might just might set them up just as is. Like they're like the little marshmallow peeps, even though I don't like marshmallow peeps. Sorry, my my spot is a little far away from me over there. I think now everything else might be for my Easter baskets. So when I was out shopping, I picked up a new Easter basket idea and I'm going to do imaginary play like for, you know, a little boy or a girl who likes to be in the kitchen because it was all kitchen stuff. And so I picked up these cute little cutting boards with the fruit and they're so cute because they have the Velcro like you're actually cutting your fruit on these cutting boards. And I had to get this one because it has the pineapple. I love pineapples and the apple. So that one's really cute. This one is the vegetables with the broccoli and carrot that they could cut in half. And another knife. I mean, you get a lot of cutting boards when you buy it this way, but so cute for a little toy kitchen or just you don't even need an actual kitchen. So this one has the little burner and the little stove. No, the burner is the stove. The burner and the little pan. And it looks like probably like a salt shaker and then a fork and a spoon. Like super cute to be cooking. And then I had to get these because I think that these two are adorable. Where you get to make the grilled cheese sandwich. It's got the flipper and a very large knife for a grilled cheese sandwich. And then this one that also has a large knife and it has a bacon and eggs in it. And breakfast is my favorite food so had to get that one and they both have different little skillets and the flippers so super cute and so I'm gonna put all those oh and then we picked up these the iron and the little vacuum they're super noisy and they shut off on their own so sorry I don't have an iron that makes this sound and if your iron does make this sound I suggest getting a new one maybe your vacuum I mean that makes more sense right but if your iron makes a sound you need a new iron so those were really cute for the imaginary play basket um I think there might be a couple more things but I think they're just mixed into the other bags I found another set of these earbuds the Uniden and these ones are green and blue and I thought those are really cute so I might trade it out for the black and white ones in the techie basket that I'm doing for kind of like an older boy and I just thought those colors were really neat so I picked that up let's see I'm trying to kind of keep it kind of in like an order but I don't know if I am all right so here's one more for imaginary play it has the banana and strawberries that you can cut in half and so I think that that's all I picked up for that oh no one more I got the stuff to have a little tea party as well and so that is going to be a basket just full of like imaginary play like type stuff i picked up some more stuffies because i want to do a little easter stuffy and all of them and i didn't pick up these guys the first time i need more i need more than even just these three to finish out my 20 baskets but look how cute these are in the little ears like it has little bunny heads and carrots in the ear there so cute the teal guy has little chicks and Easter eggs in his ears. And look how cute his little face is. They lay on their tummies like that. So these ones are super cute little bunnies. And then this one was a little sheep that was over in the same section. So I got the little sheep too. So I got those to add to the baskets. Um, I need more baskets. So, and I still need baskets. I've been having a hard time finding the baskets. And any, like I've gone to several stores and like the baskets are like very limited. I mentioned before, I like to try to get regular baskets that can get be used for other things other than an Easter basket. And I think these are more marketed as Easter baskets, but you can also use them all the time. And I thought both of these are really cute and a really good size for some of the stuff I'm putting together. And so I got one of each of these and they had one other color. It might've been yellow. It might've been yellow. So I got the teal and I got the purple to add some of the stuff in. Those are really cute baskets. And then I found just a couple of these guys. And so these will be for the things that are like kind of like smaller, sorry, smaller stuff. 
that will fit nicely in these ones. I love these baskets. I use these around my house because they're just really nice baskets and they're sturdy. So I got a couple of those for some of the baskets. I got this lip gloss to add in to one of the ones I'm working on for more of like the preteen slash teen girls. It's got this cute little holder on it so they could attach it to like their backpack or their keys or something like that. And then it's just got like a, does it say strawberry? Yep, a strawberry scented lip gloss in there. I thought that was super cute. I picked up a Barbie toothbrush to toss into the doll basket. My goal, I think I'm going to try to find several different um, toothbrushes to add in because I'm donating these to where people are less fortunate. So, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have an extra toothbrush. And this is something I do with for my kids all the time anyway. They always get toothbrushes and things. So I try to get one that's theme appropriate or theme matches, but they get toothbrushes all the time for different holidays because it's just something they need and it can be fun in their like in their Easter baskets or stockings or any of that kind of stuff. I started picking up for another theme basket and so some of the stuff I have I think in here is for an art basket and I think I'm doing two different art ones. I'm going to do one for like a, a younger age group and then one for a little bit older of an age group. I don't think I have in here with me but I picked up um, some canvases and then I grabbed this watercolor paint. I think it's really cute how it comes in a palette like that. And it comes with the one paintbrush, but we all know that those paintbrushes are terrible. And so I picked up this set to toss in there with it. These are the ones I like the best. But I use them with um, acrylic paints most of the time, but I like those paintbrushes. I did grab some colored pencils. I only picked up one now I'm wishing I would have grabbed two because I'm going to do it with the Hot Wheels one if you watch that I got a big coloring sheet and it needs something to be able to color with and these are cool because they're double sided so you get all those colors but just in one set of six pencils so there's six pencils with 12 colors so that's really neat I grab this to add in to one of the the baskets I'm working on it's just a doodle diary I think with the journal, I think I'm going to do the journal and then this doodle page so that they have options to just draw or to journal. And so I wanted to add that in there for that as an option. I did find one more of these fidget trades. I've shown one already once before, but I picked up another one because I picked up so many fidgets. I'm probably going to split that up into two. That's something that would work well in that smaller basket because all the items are little, but it's a lot of little items. And so I probably do two different fidget baskets because kids love fidgets right now. Like they love fidgets. It's such a thing. Um, over in this, I have a nice big basket. I did get two of these. I'll show those as soon as I get them empty though. I picked up a bunch of Easter eggs because in each of these I want to do, probably I'm trying to do about six eggs per basket that fit the theme. And I'm going to put packaged candy in all of them. So they're getting some candy too, but then like the Easter look is easter eggs and then they have like all the non like totally easter things in there oh man so i got this one i like it a lot it's got the jewel tones of the eggs and i think that they're really neat looking and then this one is similar but more of like the iridescent i did show these already because i did these for the jerk no the makeup basket and i was going to do this probably for the journaling one because it kind of goes well with the colors that i have going for that I found these car shaped Easter eggs. So I'm going to obviously do that in the car basket. Put candy in those. Then they are this one and it's just got the different designs on it. This could go in several. I'll probably pick up more of these because it's kind of universal or I can do it in like the doll basket or an art basket. And so once I kind of figure out my baskets, I'll probably grab more of those to fit in with some of those themes. And then I got two of these ones and they're just the bunnies. And that was kind of, there's only four in there, but it looks like you probably fit even more candy. So it could be the same amount of candy, but it's got, they get there an Easter egg, but they're a bunny. So a little bit of both. And so those ones were really cute. Maybe the themes that seem a little bit more boyish, I'll just do like the white and the blue ones. And then the girlier, I don't know. I don't know how I'll mix it. Cause I don't think the colors matter as long as, you know, you're given the stuff, but. I picked up a few of these to toss into different baskets for the girls. I think that these can work for any age girl because they're just hair ties and they're really cute. 
and then there was two different ones so but similar so that one has the two just purple clips where this one has the pink clips and the two bows were just slightly different and those are just alligator claw hooks so I thought those are really cute to toss into any of the baskets that are kind of look like they're more for a little girl so the doll the journal the cozy one where I'm doing like a blanket and like a doodle book and stuff like this will work in any of those because they're just so cute and I just I thought that they were too cute being a little kitty unicorn so I grabbed that to toss into all of those these also I thought were so cute just to toss into any of them so these are stickers by number and so what it looks like you do is it includes three posters and three sticker sheets so there's the sticker sheets and they all have a number on them and then you open it to the corresponding sticker the page and then like you fill it in so this one has like the jean legs and sneakers and friendship bracelets and then you put them on there and then you finish it out so I just thought that that was really cute that one has like jewelry and stuff on it so I got that to add on to just one of the baskets and this one too so it says donuts forever and these are all three plus create your own artwork these are by Greenbrier but it's also peach distributed by Greenbrier but by peach tree playthings so this one looks like it's a little more difficult it has quite a few stickers oh my gosh but they're so cute there's that page so it's the same yep three pages of stickers and three sheets that you stick them on so same concept and this one it looks like you're making donuts and like little bunnies or bears so I thought that would be cute just to be like an add-in in some of the baskets because <clears throat> I'm also I'm doing like an artsy one so like the artsy ones that would be probably perfect in this also just as an add-in it is a little braided bracelet loom kit so you get seven colors of string one foam loom and instructions on how to make the friendship bracelets. I remember doing this as a kid, so it just looked like a lot of fun. I was totally into the idea. So I packed, picked that up to toss into one of the baskets. Um, oh, I grabbed these. They're the tech cleaners for the little techie basket that I was doing. It says use for almost all electronics, phones, earbuds, smartwatches, gaming, cameras, and computers, and you get 50 wipes in there. We should all have these to clean up our stuff. It says 50 individual alcohol wipes. So they're literally just alcohol wipes with 70% isopropyl alcohol. So I was going to toss that into the techie one because I'm having a harder time with that one. I did get two things from Five Below though for that one. So I'm going to have like less items but the more expensive items because Dollar Tree doesn't have the best tech stuff. And then I thought these were so darn cute. Oh man, one of them doesn't have the pull string. I didn't pay attention or a price, uh, but I thought they were so cute. So I was just gonna toss those. I mean, again, this can go in like the doll basket, the cozy, one of them's going in the cozy basket, journaling basket, art basket. I mean, these can be a little extra in any basket that you can imagine. Since this one doesn't have the pull tag. Oh, they light up pretty bright. Oh, that is so cute. So. I'm adding those into some of the baskets. I did, again, pick up these two big baskets to put stuff in. So these are for the outside toys and for like the sports themed. I thought that that would be good. I got a basketball for the sports themed one. And then the outside toys are just bigger too. So I got the bigger baskets because there's some bigger items. And then I'll be able to kind of fluff and put all the other items around them. So that's what those baskets are for. And then guys, lastly in this haul, I was excited to find, and I don't know if I can use these for all the baskets because it depends on how big these are because like, I don't think these are going to fit in them, but I found the basket bags, but they're Easter themed. So I always get the clear ones from Dollar Tree and I do gift baskets a lot and I always use the clear basket bags, but these were so cute because like I said, they are Easter themed. They're a little hard to see. If you look kind of down on the picture right there where the basket is, this one says happy Easter all over it and you get two in there I think there's four different ones this one has just eggs all over it 
And again, since I'm not doing overly Easter for the baskets, I'm just doing like nice goodie baskets, like baskets of stuff I think kids will like. I think that this will be nice to really just show that it's for Easter. This, the little stuffed bunny and the Easter eggs. This one has little chicks all over it with some eggs. It's like one of the chicks is painting, one's in a basket. That one's full of little chicks. And then this one says happy, happy Easter. And it has a little mix of everything. It's got bunnies, it's got chicks, it's got Easter eggs, and it says happy Easter. And I'm pretty sure I just got two of each. I did, I just got two of each of all of those. So I was excited because all definitely all the smaller baskets can fit in there. Again, I don't think this is gonna fit. I mean, it doesn't mean I won't see and try, but if it doesn't, that's okay. I have some clear cellophane I can use for those instead, but yeah. So guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Again, it's mostly basket fillers for the Easter baskets that I am going to start putting together. Uh, I have I have more. So I've been working on an art themed basket. A couple of the items ended up in here. I am looking for like the little wooden easels again. I know I have some in my stash, but I got them for Lorelai's birthday party. If I can't find one before I put the basket together, I'll just pull from my stash. Um, and a, probably a crafty one and an artsy one. And then I'm figuring out how many I have and how many more I need. And then I need to go shopping again. Um, I do have upcoming, I have another Dollar Tree haul. I have a collective haul because I went shopping at Five Below for like the bigger items I'm putting in each of these baskets. And I know my collective hauls don't really do well, but if you're really into these Easter basket ideas, it would be a good one to watch because it's the stuff that I'm buying to add in bigger items into the Easter baskets. You may not have a five below, but you can still give you ideas because a lot of the stuff you can buy elsewhere, it just might not be as good of a price as five below. So that's what's coming up. And again, if you are interested, check out Javi Coffee, Coffee Concentrate. I mean, I didn't know what I was gonna think. It smells really good too. If you like the smell of coffee, like I can smell it from there, but I didn't know exactly what I was gonna feel about it, but that's good and it's really good with that protein shake it really has like um that sweet coffee birthday cake kind of taste going on highly recommend and then if you buy your own um syrups and you just add your own pumps to it oh yeah yeah that's good so thank you again i can't wait until i see you guys next time i hope you're having a wonderful wonderful day also don't forget i have a giveaway going on go back to my video that I posted on the 22nd. I have not drawn the winner for that yet. So go back there, watch that video about my giveaway. It tells you all about the amazing charcuterie board that's going to be personalized as the prize. Um, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below because I love conversating with you guys. I spend a little bit of multiple parts of my day. I just sit down and I reply to some comments and I really love doing that. So don't forget to leave that comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.